Alrighty folks, welcome to the bar. Uh, we're talking about what's happening in the brewery. Uh, it's early, well, it's getting to almost towards mid-November at the moment. We talk in October. Uh, it's been a busy sort of start of the month, so I haven't had a chance to do this yet. Uh, I've been in, I've had, I've had some uh, well, surgery as such. I've had some stents, I've had some stents put in to alleviate a ongoing issue where I can't walk properly. Um, seems like it's fixed the problem, but at the moment I'm still on, uh, I'm still recovering. Um, so I'm not, fl not flushing any alcohol through the um, through the veins just at the moment. So I'm still on a couple of, on a, I'm on a week of uh, no beer. So coffee for little John. But anyway, um, so o October we've. Uh, Got a couple of new, couple of brews done through the month. Uh, we finished off the Cooper's Craft Recipe of the month, the Strata Red IPA. It got packaged up. It will get tested uh, early in December. Uh, we've got the Freshwort kit from Nauronian, which we split between an XPA and a Lager. Uh, it's sitting here on keg it's just waiting for a chance to get on tap i've got a couple of beers here on tap that are getting very low um and i would be very surprised if over the next week we don't lose three we don't blow three kegs um so they will get on as soon as they do we will get we'll get, get a tasting on them as soon as we can uh the Next extract of Ganza went on, uh, which was uh, the New Zealand Company bitter from Black Rock Brewing. It's kegged up just a few days ago. Um, I've got nine litres of it here. The rest of the batch got kegged up and went to Mullows. Uh, so we will get to get to try that. Uh, any other brews at the moment? Uh, in November, we won't get we won't get into that. So. So, they're, 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 so tastings coming up are the Mangrove Jack Cerveza, which was extracted again to number 36, was due to be done last week, but again, I said with medical medical stuff, uh, that hasn't happened. I've put a couple of bottles, there's two versions of that. That was, I think there's a basic, the basic kit version, and half I did with some agave sweetener, agave, um, sugar so there's the two versions so they're going to get they're going to get tasted this month as well they're going in the fridge just a few days ago she might have even just but might have only been yesterday uh, probably was yesterday uh, come to think of it so that's all good um yep that's catches up on where we are there um patreon draw now i've done this already um, everyone knows I'm, I'm an honest fella. Abe McDonald, you got drawn out. Um, I got a little bit fucking sidetracked um, other stuff and got a bit bloody lost track of what, what I was up, bloody up to. So, Abe McDonald, you're this month's lucky Patreon winner. Patreons, support this channel, keep this channel going. If it wasn't for Patreons, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be doing extract again, or I wouldn't be doing all the, any experimenting that I do. Wouldn't be doing all that playing around. Um, so, big thumbs up to those guys. If you're interested in Patreon, there's a link down the bottom. Um, it certainly helps. Certainly helps the channel. And so there's a prize every month. There's recipes. Uh, there's extra videos. Yeah, there's that warm feeling you get from helping out. Um, <laughs> that's all good. So that's prize coming your way. James Cole from last month. Your prize is going to come along with that. Hops and some yeast coming to both of these gentlemen. I think Abe's won. I think that's his second prize in maybe the last two or three months. So um, he's doing all, he's doing all right for himself lately. Anyway, that's where we are. So a couple of new brews are going to get on the tap very shortly. I've actually got to the point where I'm in control of the keg fridge again. Uh, all that wash up from the Twang Falls has finally washed out of the system, and may even get to the point where um, in the next month I may even find myself having a keg or two free. Um, that itself is going to free up because uh, 
this time next week we are settling on the new house so the brewery move will happen between now and the next in the brewery video um, the next video will actually happen in the new brewery um, it may not be fully functioning at that point but it will it, the video will happen over there to give you a bit of a bit of a look see where things are going uh, we're in a lucky spot because the kids are staying here in the house so we don't need to just go boom in one hit and move everything um, we've got a little bit of, we've got a little couple of little things we want to do on the new place before we get in there um, so we probably actually won't be in the house until you know mid-ish December um, as a permanent thing but we'll certainly be getting stuff over there and set up so keep keep your eye on that one it's not going to affect the brewing too much um, I should be able to keep the channel going on a on a current trajectory without any without any problem even with the move so that should be fine um, brews coming up in the next little bit for November um, currently in the fermenters in the fridge we've got uh, easy extract Schwartz beer uh, well actually it's not in the fin it's actually in a keg it's been kegged uh, where are we five days ago it's, so it's sitting there it's sitting here behind me waiting to get into the keg into the keg fridge as well in the ferment fridges at the moment we have the Nauronian wheat extract uh, the partial mash kit uh, and also in the other fridge is the same kit in a, in a, in a double in a ginger beer uh, so they will be out soon the ginger beer they've been on for a couple of days I put it on just before I went in for my procedure so it's good to go the wheat extract is cold crushing I'm going to Wollongong oh, slash myola this afternoon we've got a funeral tomorrow uh, so I've got away for, away for a couple of days get back um, work over the weekend um, probably get the wheat, the wheat be kegged up um, in the meantime I think I've got a keg here I've got one keg for it um, and the ginger beer will take a little bit longer I'll, we'll wait on a another keg to come free which hopefully won't be too far away there will be a easy extract brew day uh, in the next week or two and that will be an Australian lager it's actually going to be well I'm going to call it the unloaded dog um, so it's going to be a extract version of the loaded dog one of the Patreons had used the method on a brew and was really happy with really liked the method and asked if I could give him a, if I had a recipe for an Australian lager because um, his wife liked lagers that's what she, that's what she wanted um, he asked if he could do something you know, to keep her happy um, so I knocked up that recipe knowing that was what I was planning on doing as the next easy extract anyway it just pushed me into I just pushed it into doing the recipe a little bit quicker than I was actually ready or oh, I hadn't sort of sat down and done I had no idea what I wanted to, well, what I wanted to do finally numbed it out um, he's brewed it uh, and it's a week and a bit old since he's finished it and he's telling me that's really good he's really happy with it it's a great beer um, his wife says it's the best lager he's ever done so they've given it the double thumbs up uh, which makes me happy because that's good I know, I know that recipe works I was confident that it would uh, it's a fairly straightforward recipe to take realistically from grain to that partial mash and extract um, I've had people over the years ask me if I could do a extract like a kit version and I've always been very hesitant to do that because I didn't know I really couldn't put my finger on a kit base that I wanted to start with to get the result I would have liked with that beer so I never really got around to it this method I was pretty confident was going to be fine because uh, it was easy to take the grain and the malt malt baits so that's going to happen I think that's I'm really looking forward to how that comes out especially after seeing this you know muzz getting such great results 
Um, the next extractor Ganser brew will also go on in the next little bit. Uh, and that's going to be a brick, brick road. Uh, I think I've got the Pacific Ale and the Draft here. I will probably do the Pacific Ale. Um, especially after I've, if I'm going to do the Aussie Lager. I don't want to do a lag, do, do an Aussie Lager and then do a Draft at the same time. That's basically doubling up on a quite similar sort of beer. So I think I'll, I think I'll get a Pacific Ale. That'll, that'll dump onto being ready for... So that's going to get into February before it's ready for drinking. So that's going to be a nice beer. It'll take us through the end, of, the end of summer into um, into autumn. So that's what's coming up beer-wise. Um, that should be it for the month. I don't think I'm going to get any more on than that for the month. So, yeah. I've got some new yeast here to try. Uh not going to get a great lot of chance to try them just at the moment with the beers that are coming up. Um, oh, I can probably, yeah, I'll be able to split the uh, extractor gans up uh, and use one or two of the yeast. That should, that'll, that'll be fine. That will actually work. Um, there's a hazy. Yeah, no, that's all good. That'll work. There's a couple of cellar science brews, so there's a hazy yeast in there. And there's also a nectar. Two brews are designed for one, obviously one for a hazy, and one for a juicy sort of a brew. So I think they will both work quite nicely. Um, yeah, and that so that'll get us through to November, and then we roll on into Christmas. And that and again, that's part of that Aussie, that Aussie um, extract with the unloaded, the unloaded dog. Uh, was making sure I got a beer here that I'm going to be happy with too share with the wife's extended family uh, we go there for new for, um, for boxing day sort of every second year and the last time I went I got in trouble because I turned up and didn't have any home brew apparently a few of the uh, you know her nieces and nep or, or cousins and whatnot um, had been watching the channel and were quite keen for, for some some of those little John's brews on uh, on boxing day um, I didn't take any. I didn't, you know, until back in the time when I used to take. Well, at that point, I would have had a um, an advent calendar, which I would have been using, drinking during my, you know, Christmas break. So this year, I wanted the beer to take, and I thought, that's going to be that's perfect. That's the spot on beer to take um, for that crowd. That'll work really well. So all good. So that's it, folks. Um, you got any comments or any questions? Stick them down the bottom. Like I said, there's a link down the bottom to Patreon. Again, thumbs up to the Patreons. Abe McDonald, James Cole, prize is coming your way. If you subscribe to Little John's, thank you very much. If you aren't, think about it. There's a link down the bottom. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell. The notification comes up so you know when any videos pop up. You don't miss anything. And if you like the video, like what's going on, hit the thumbs up down there. But for now, I'm out of here. So until I see you on the next uh, video, me brewing beer, drinking beer or talking beer, good brewing. Cheers.